Today, I will show how simple it is to run Oracle SQL Data Modeler on Mac. First, you'll need to ensure that you have Java 8 or Java 11 installed on your system. If you already have it installed, you can skip this step. Otherwise, open Safari browser and in Google, type in download Java 11 Mac. Click on the first link. I'll place a link for the Java download page in the description below. On the Java download page, select Mac OS and then scroll down to Java 11. Select Mac OS again, then click on the X64TGM installer. It'll take a minute or two to download, depending on your internet speed. Once downloaded, open up the downloads, click on the downloaded package and follow the instructions. When the installer has finished, you can delete the downloaded Java package. You need to then check if Java has been successfully installed. Type command space to open up the terminal. In the terminal type Java dash, no space, version. This will confirm the Java installation. The next step is to download the SQL data modeler. Head over to your Safari browser and in Google, type in download Oracle SQL data modeler. Scroll down the page to the oracle.com link and click on it. I'll leave the link for this in the description below. When the page opens, scroll down to the macOS link and click on Download. It'll take a few moments to download. Once it downloads, click on it to install it and follow the instructions. Once installed, the SQL data modeler will open. In the next video, we'll look at using the Oracle SQL Data Modeler. If you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button and click on like. Also, let me know how you got on with this in the comments below.